nation makes music talking about they want call their women bitches, hoes, and, right. and talk about shooting up the block every Bring song. What other nation does that? Bring Give me up. First Corinthians 1533. I'm asking. Oh, then you tell me. I don't even been to that type of stuff. I mean, but I, what I'm saying is, what oh. other people do it. I can't tell you because I don't. Right. So look. All right. So oh, think yeah. about it like this. Okay. Look. You familiar with Yay? With the uh, Yay? I'm familiar with Yay and what's going on with him, right? Yeah, yeah. You familiar with that? Uh, Kyrie Irving and Kanye West. You know, I Kanye know Kanye West. West. That hit go by Yay now. That's what oh, he calls wow. okay. Right. 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 So. Now keep in mind, Ye has made all these different songs. Man, this is Kanye West. This, okay, 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 okay. So Kanye West, he made all these different songs, right? And it's always been songs about, you know, whatever it might be, uh, sleeping with women, whatever the case may be. He came out and said, we are the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. So y'all, we are the Jews. Y'all, we Kanye West again? No, we with him. Oh, okay. if, if, but we with him when it comes to things that's biblical. Right. Anything he say that's outside of the Bible, we ain't rocking with. Right. Like how he say, uh, uh, to make America great, Trump and all that, we don't deal with none of that. But when he say that we the children of God, we the Israelites, we absolutely stand with that. You understand? Let me show you what the so-called white man understands about us and our music. Because if you look at the owners, of all the the, uh, the record labels, they're all so-called Jewish people. They're Jew well, Jewish people, right? Which is the so-called white man. Watch this. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 33. Watch it this. Up. But be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So the so-called white man understand. Right. If I can get these black men to talk about, call their women hoes, right. to shoot each other down in the street, we can destroy their whole community. Right. And that's what we stand by. Our people stand by that. We love it. Our sisters, they love it. You tell a sister right now, sis, put a dress on, cover up. Right. She might she might cuss you out. Right. And you know how many times we've been teaching on the street, sis, you got to be modest. You got to cover yourself up according to God. That sister will start twerking right in front of us. Right. Right. She don't care. They disrespect their own people. Why? It's in the music. Right. What is Cardi B teaching these sisters? Right. And you know what's ironic about all of that with Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and all these women? They tell you to be a, a whore out here, to shake it and do what you got to do. Right. But hold on, hold on. But guess what? They all marry with kids. Right. All of them, they go home to their husband, they clean up the house, they cook, they do everything that they're telling you not to do. Right. Bring it out. Destroying our people. Read that again. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So they know that teaching that, 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 that those evil things in our music is going to turn our people against God and what is happening now. Soon as we speak the Bible, our people don't want to hear it. Right. Let me ask you a question. This is a basic. Y'all go to job in the church? I'm, I'm going to segue here because I'm going to show you how not only do our people like that music and like that, but the churches, they preach against God too. Right. How do I get the kingdom of heaven? Okay. Bring it out. Monica, you on? Monique, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so you say live by the Bible. Okay, but you say you don't know it, right? All right, let me ask you right here. How do you get the kingdom? What's your name, sis? Huh? Jessica. Okay, Jessica. How do we get the kingdom? You not? Now nah, let me ask you this. Did y'all grow up in the church? I did. I did. So we grew up in the church, and then I asked you how you get the kingdom. I don't we... go to church currently. No, no, I don't. Hey, we don't, have to. We don't go to that church right. either. Right. Okay. But, but I'm saying, when I was a young man, I grew up in the church. If somebody would have asked me, how do I get the kingdom of God? There, I have no clue. Right. How, 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 going, growing up in the church, they ain't going to get you there. Right. No, I agree right. with that. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, they have the Bible in the church, right? right. right. So why don't they teach you how to get the kingdom? Right. 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 That's what you got to understand. Watch this. Matthew 19. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Right. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this brother came and asked Christ, the black Messiah, what good things shall I do that I may get eternal life or get the kingdom? So he asked Christ directly, how do I get the kingdom of God? Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. But Christ said there is no, only one good. Read. That is God. So he gave the honor to the Father. So when they tell you uh, God and the Father is the same, it's, it's a lie. Christ just said it's only one good and that's the Father. He gave glory to the Most High God. He didn't give glory to himself. He didn't give glory to himself. He gave it to the Most High God. Right? But if thou will enter into life. Now Monique, if you will enter into life, if you will get the, uh, the kingdom, keep the commandments. 
it says, keep the commandments. That's right. Keep the commandments. Now, the question should be, what are the commandments? Bring it out. Right? Huh? Yes. Yes, but it's more than that. And I'm going to show you something that's big. Because you said take commandments. I like that. What is today? Because Christ said to get the kingdom, you got to keep the commandments. What's today? Saturday. Okay, it's Saturday. What does the Bible call today? Huh? Oh, okay. It's just the moment you cook it. Read that. Exodus 20. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Watch this. Remember the Sabbath day. God says, remember. He put that in there at the beginning. Let us know that we forget. That's, a, that's an Exodus. You understand? That's the second book. And it says, remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day, which is today, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it, thou shalt not do any work. Stop. It says you shall not do any work. Right. You're right. The, why? But guess what? What? The, what the, there you go. So guess what? Give me. Hold on. Before we continue on the Sabbath, give me Colossians 28. Bring so you got to understand, you've been lied to, Monique. Right. That's why we out here, y'all, uh, Jessica. We're out here because our people been lied to. Right. You've been told all kind of things that go against God. Right. They tell you that the lifestyle, like, let me ask you a question, sis. Have you dealt with homosexuality? Huh? No? Okay. Have I, me personally? Yes. No. no. Okay, all praise. I got people who have. I mean, I know people. Me, we all got, yeah, we all got family members that's dealt with that, right? I'm just asking you just to be, you know, just right. this thing. But you got to understand. Our people deal with all kind of things that's against God. That's, that's everyone. Okay, watch this. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Lest anybody spoil you through, ph hold this up, hold that up, through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After the what? The tradition of men. Uh -huh. After the rudiments of the world. The rudiments mean the ways of the world. How you doing, sis? And not after Christ. And they're not following Christ. You know who they following? The so-called white man. That's who they follow. That's right. Go ahead, sis. Nehemiah. Uh, it's not that we were supposed to put our hands it. Yeah, not supposed to, sis. And you're not supposed to color it. Who you get that from? Who you get that from? Um, we get it from our own press. We ain't, we ain't coloring our hair. And I did it yesterday. Ah, right, so you got to stop. You got to stop. Watch this. Give me uh, this. It's right. not permanent. I want to get something else for the Sabbath. Because we're talking about the Sabbath, right? right. So I want you to pay attention. Because y'all about to go in here, right? No, we come out. You saw you, so you already was in there. Mm -hmm. You what about you? You just going to go in there? Well, I got to get some. Oh, on the Sabbath day, right? Okay, let's see. Read this. The Bring book of Nehemiah, the 10 and verse 31. Oh. What's your name? Tasha, he not Tasha. What we're talking about right now is the Sabbath day and that we got to keep the commandments. So we're dealing with the laws pertaining to, to the Sabbath, which is today. Here's a law. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. To what? So where or any victuals or food. So any merchandise on the Sabbath day to sell. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. That we would not what? Buy it of them on the Sabbath. So guess what we're not supposed to do on the Sabbath? <laughs> Buying and selling. We're not supposed to buy and sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. You see that? Yeah, exactly. No, because this is open on Sunday. Come here on Sunday. But not on the Lord's Sabbath day. Remember, we're trying to go back to keeping God's commandments. To being those people that God's... Maybe, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I ain't with the description in a while. I ain't with in a long time. Let me show you something. Let me show you... Now, now before we read this... Monique, what does God think about you? Okay, good things. Okay, what about you? Uh, I forgot. Uh, Tasha. No, that's Tasha. Tasha, what does God think about you? Okay, in this image. Okay, that's good. What about you, Sister Jessica? What does God think about you? You know why your pastor don't care? Right, right. Guess what he think about? Right. Your money. Right. That's, right. That's all he wants. That's what all these churches want is your money. Have you ever seen him on the street teaching the Bible? Didn't Christ, hold on, wasn't Christ walking and going to different places? Teaching the word? Now he was stopping the synagogue, yes. He was teaching the synagogue, but he was traveling, wasn't he? Where's your pastor? All right. Watch this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Now, now we're going to get out the Bible what God thinks about you. Watch this. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. That holy means separate. God says you are a holy people, meaning we're separate from everybody else. Watch this. The Lord thy God 
have chosen thee. Hold on, wait a second. The Lord, hold this sign right here, please. It says, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee, the people on this sign, to be a special people unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. Right, bring it up. Watch this, watch this. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God says that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who have been called niggas their entire existence in America are above every nation on the planet. On the planet. You are better and greater than every other nation according to the Bible. I'm not saying, listen, we just read out, did we read out the book? Okay, so guess what? God says you're above everybody else. What do our people want to do? We want to be like everybody else. And everybody else passing us like dummies. There you go. So guess what, what? What should we do in this situation? Then? What we need to do by starting to sticking with it, sticking together. Sticking together, okay. You know, we know we can't like the situation is not all that back and forth, back and forth. Just be quiet and, and get something. Okay. And then go, but you trying to talk, he trying to talk, and uh -huh. we listening. We can't get nothing. Right. Will him be a contentious? I understand you know that. So but we'll, it's a it's a big thing that we missing though. Cause I just gave y'all a couple. As a matter of fact, I gotta get Deuteronomy 225. Cause all my sisters got on pants. You got on pants over there, sis. You got a dress on. Pants. Anyway, read that or underwear. Actually, draws. My sister got draws on out here. Watch this. Read that. I'm not trying. Hey, since I'm not trying to embarrass you, I'm sorry, sis. I'm not trying to embarrass you. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. You said it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Look at the bottom. Your, your great, 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 great grandmother was picking cotton in the dress. Right. And you talking about the pick the things, what cotton? That's right. We don't went far. We we fallen very far. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now let's see how serious our sister's going to be. Because they'll stand here and listen to everything. It sounds fantastic. The Bible says that the woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. Bring it up. What is that? Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Read it again. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And on the flip side, the man ain't supposed to wear a dress. And listen what I tell you. Our people stand here, they'll listen. Oh, it sounds good. We're the greatest people ever. I got to change? Oh, nigga, you crazy. That's what I want. Soon as we said, God, I listen. Now, Jessica, let me, uh, Jessica and uh, Monique, Monique, let me ask you a question. Did I just come out of nowhere and say you can't, y'all got to, don't roll over to a man? Where did it come from, Monique? Unless, unless he wrote that Bible. Did he write it? Unless he nope. wrote that one. So we just read out of God's word, what? Right. You're not supposed to wear what pertain to a man. Ain't nobody reading the Bible. That sister, listen, she ran immediately. She ran immediately. But if you read it out of the Bible, you can't run from it. Right. We can run from you all day. Right. But it's still in there. from the Bible, it is really, what it you, is. You really disrespecting the verse. Oh, whoa! Yeah, yeah, I said, no, give me first that's no for no that. Sis, Monique, you need to come real. to the school. You gotta put a dress on her. Right. Hey, it don't matter. What's up? What the paperwork? Hey, all right, get the sister a fly. Watch this. Watch yeah, this. Read. The book of uh, yeah, First Thessalonians, chapter 4, and verse 8. Listen, really? I, hey, hold on. I want to show you that what you said was biblical, real quick. Read. He, therefore, that despise it, despise it not man. So, if you despise what we saying, you're not mad at me. I'm Enoch. You're not. What, what you going to say to me? Read. But God. You despise God. You hate God. I didn't write like you said. We didn't write that. So, how you mad at us? Because the Bible says a woman can't wear what pertains to a man. You know who held, you know, hold this up. I'm going I'm to show you who told you you can't wear that. Right here. Come as you are. White Jesus said it is white and it's all right. You can wear whatever you want with them, but God said you can't do that. Give me Acts 3, 3 verse 19. Because it's about us changing. Right. Right. We always, I'm going to tell you something. Our people, you know when we talk about change is in uh, the so-called New Year. Right. That's the only time we even consider the yeah, New Year, New Me. And then two weeks later, what you doing? The same thing the old you was doing. Bring it up. Yeah. Our people don't, they don't understand change on no level. The only change we know is the one that we were taught by our enemies. Right. Let me show you something what God says. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Watch this, Monique. Repent you therefore and be converted. To repent means to change. It says repent and be converted. It means to be changed, Monique. You understand? When we see you next time, you should have a dress on. You should be wearing pants. You shouldn't be wearing leggings. You should be wearing a dress covering yourself. Dressed in modest apparel. Read. 
that your sins may be blotted out. So the only way to get your sins removed is to be changed. You have to be converted. You cannot be who you are and get the kingdom. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.